Treasure Chest of Fun and Fact, September 28th, 1961, presents Communism, Threat to Liberty. This Godless Communism. Communism. What is it? How did it get started? Where is it going? This school year, we are going to see what makes communism tick by taking a look at the main parts of its history, with particular emphasis on its history in Russia. November 7, 1917, Communists Seize Petrograd. Modern communism got its first toehold in Russia through violence and bloodshed. A revolution was directed by a small group of men who urged the people to attack their representative government. The people did so because they thought the communists would help them lead a more comfortable life. The people did not realize that for this promise of an easier life, they were giving up their freedom. Since that fateful day in 1917, communism has grown by leaps and bounds. Today, almost one-third of the world is communist territory, and communist leaders have their eyes on the United States, too. The following story tells you what a family's life would be like in the communist United States. This is the voice of your communist government speaking. Today, communist forces have completed the occupation of your country. The United States no longer exists. It is now the Union of Soviet States of America. Long live the USSA! What do we do now, Dad? We should have done our thinking and praying before this happened, Bill. But it's never too late. Let's go to church and ask God's help. But a surprise awaits them at the church door. It says the church property has been taken over by the government. They're going to make a communist museum out of it. But what about Father Ryan? The next day, many questions are answered. And it says all the Catholic priests and sisters are being sent to a labor camp. Those who resist will be killed. They're doing the same thing with most of the Jewish and Protestant ministers. They can't do this. Let's write to our representative in Washington. But Bill, we don't have a representative government anymore. We have to do what the communists tell us to do. In fact, the government isn't even in Washington anymore. It's being moved to Chicago. They've taken over Chicago's biggest building for temporary government headquarters. Took it away from the owner without even asking. The communists are destroying most of Washington. Hmm. Destroying historic national monuments. Where have I heard about that in our current era? That sounds familiar. And Mr. Gerard told me that most of our government officials have disappeared. All except those who have accepted communism. Well, I'll show them. I'm going down to the newspaper. We'll see about this. But at the newspaper, where Bill was a copy boy, this newspaper is no longer in business. Only the official government paper will be published from now on. And only the government TV and radio station will be heard. And on his way home, Bill learns more. Bill, newspaper workers aren't the only ones. All business concerns have been taken over, and the officers of labor unions have been replaced by communists. So that's why Dad couldn't reach his lawyer this morning. Of course, they say lawyers aren't needed in a communist state. The government decides who is innocent or guilty without a lawyer's help. But this is like living in a prison. Quiet! They've organized a secret police force. If they hear you talking like that, they'll arrest you. Hmm. Cracking down on free speech. Where have I heard that before? In 2022. At home, more news about communist ways. A man came to the door and told me I must start working at the factory tomorrow. If I don't, They'll take away our home. But I own this home. I've worked hard for it. The man told us that no one owns the house anymore. The government has taken over all the land and the buildings on it. 
What will become of our family? I remember learning in school that communists don't believe in the family. They say they're going to free the woman from the home and put her to work. And wait till you hear what they tell us at school today. Today we had all new teachers at school. They call it Soviet School 32 now instead of St. Joseph's. Teacher said there is no God and that communism is all good and all powerful. They took down all the crucifixes and put a USSA flag in their place. Communism is the answer to all the world's problems. It will bring you a heaven on earth in which everyone will be happy. As for the soul, God, immortality, they do not exist. Man has no soul. There is no life hereafter. Those who believe in communism are good. The rest will be done away with. It may be difficult for your old-fashioned parents to believe these things. It is your duty to tell us if they do not. Those students who do this will be great communist heroes, and we will straighten out their parents in a hurry. They've taken away all our rights, yet they say are making us happy. This is nonsense. They own everything, even us. But this seems to be only the beginning. Hmm. You will own nothing and be happy. Where have I heard that before? In 2022. The next day, Mr. Jones, the government has decided that you will work in northern Wisconsin at a lumber mill there. You will leave tomorrow by train. If you resist, you will be arrested. Your wife will be moved to an apartment here in Chicago near her factory. We will allow you to visit her sometime. But with my wife working, who will care for the children? The government will take care of children in special schools and nurseries. They will see their mother on weekends. Now get going! If I and my fellow Americans had only realized how horrible communism really is. And so ends the story of the American family under communism. It is a story that will never happen if we stay alert and guard our freedoms. Our prayers and the spreading of truth throughout the world will eventually destroy the awful error known today as communism. Read the letter from the director of the FBI at the beginning of the story. The most effective way to fight communism is to learn all you can about it. And be sure to follow this series through the year. Next month, Chapter 2 of this godless communism. United States Department of Justice, Federal Bureau of Investigation, Washington, D.C., March 13th, 1961. I would like to take this opportunity to extend greetings to the readers of Treasure Chest. Your editor has informed me that this magazine is undertaking a series of stories on communism, and I am pleased to present my views on the importance of understanding this subject. Communism represents the most serious threat facing our way of life. The responsibility of protecting and preserving the freedoms we cherish will soon belong to the members of your generation. The most effective way for you to fight communism is to learn all you can about it. Do this by pursuing the appropriate courses of study at your school and by reading books and other material on the subject. Thus equipped, you will know and understand the nature of communism. This knowledge is most essential, for it helps us to recognize and detect the communists as they attempt to infiltrate the various segments of our society. John Edgar Hoover, Director. A prayer for our enemies. O oh God, you are the lover and guardian of peace and charity. Grant true peace and charity to our enemies. Forgive them their sins. Let your might guard us against their cunning. Through our Lord. <laughs>